The zoni being the word beautiful in Indian. No, they gotta be like cute. They gotta look on point when I do their hair. And the zoni program started back in 1925. Um, and they had it at Lincoln Hills because they could not uh, due to segregation, African-American girls could not do it at the uh, Lookout Mountain. So they found a place to do it up in uh, Lincoln Hills, um, starting in 1925, giving the opportunities to girls to learn about working with horses. And it's a means by which they can empower them and learn skills and so forth. Good, good. Okay, here is Sundance seven or eight years ago. We kind of restarted the, the Nazoni program and we're providing opportunities for girls from troubled backgrounds or underserved population of youth who may not have the opportunity due to economic reasons, social reasons, that sort of thing, to empower them, give them skills, lifelong skills. Good job. It brings out a part of you I think that you don't know that you have. And I watched each and every one of those girls come up and be intimidated. They were really scared of the horses and how it was going to start. And by the end, they were looking forward to being here and being a part of it and then bringing that down there with them. I watched just how hard they pushed to get to college, um, how hard they pushed once they got out of high school and where they are now. And a lot of that had to do with this. We're actually gonna be on something that she's setting up for us. So it's really gonna be more than what you think, but I don't think you'll want to miss this. This is just a really important program because it just does a lot to empower the girls and it helps them um, just even at an early age to figure out our steps into going into young womanhood and, it's just awesome. I don't know if it says okay. Sundance on it. I'll have to look for that one. Most of the kids camps I do, it's kids from um, inner city Denver or kids that have never been exposed to the outdoor animals. So it's, it's very gratifying. And once in a while we find a child that just don't feel relaxed around the horses and stuff and it doesn't work for them. But most of the time they get very comfortable around the horses. Good job, he was a gentleman. When you come up, everything that's happening there, it, it doesn't happen up here. So it gives you a chance to stop and think and reflect and um, face your challenges. You're climbing up and getting in the saddle. I'll be behind you, right? <laughs> yep. That's so good really good. I think I see more that it builds up their confidence. You know at first they're afraid of the animal because it's so big and then they get used to the size of it and then we'll be out riding and they'll want to let it eat because they think that way they're making friends with the horse and the horse will be nicer to them. So then you have to press upon them that you they need to take control or the horse will take control of them. And So then you see the confidence coming and they start getting a little bit more adapt at seeing what can possibly happen. Well, one time they were on, somebody was on the horse and he like, like laid down to roll over. And that just like scared everybody. But besides that, I mean, I wasn't scared of anything else. It's taught me how to saddle. I feel more comfortable around horses. It's just so much fun. Um, I love it. And I, I just, I guess it's like really amazing. Really it's a really great experience. It just shows me that the work that we did around here really helped their confidence level. They felt so confident riding today and they were really enjoying it and and we just keep moving the program a little bit further and a little bit further so I'm really happy with it.